Hello and welcome to another Ronan Liberty video. Today we're going to talk about does controllers actually work for this game? And yes, they do, with some conditions. Let's take the first, my favorite one, which is the Xbox controller. Does it work wirelessly and wide? Yes, it does. So if I, the only thing you have to do is you go into the game, go into the game, turn on your controller, make sure that it's connected to your PC through cable, Bluetooth, whatever USB dongle you have to connect it, make sure that it actually is registered on your computer. Then the first thing you want to do, well, you actually do, is just move the controller. And then you can see my entire interface. And let's just hold on two seconds. As you can see, my entire interface of the game just changed a much more friendly controller layout. We can change weapon now in the right corner with arrow up. If we hold down RB, we will see that we will be able to use the spells here. You can see then it shows which buttons I have to use the spells on. If I hold down RT, it will show which spells we have to click on here. If I press Y, it changes. And we have the block on LB and another one on RB is that's traveling form oh and then we, we can even target oh it has smart targeting i actually didn't know the game had that i wonder if that also works with a uh, control and mouse but basically yeah i can hold down then use my spells which is super efficient like super efficient if i press the start button it goes into the menu and I can click around at the menu. I can even like go in here, change my travel form if I wanted. Oh, I see. So it actually creates like a it's it creates a mouse for us. So we have like a fake mouse we can like click around with. That makes sense. Makes sense. So if I go into my inventory, of course, then I can switch behind my item. But that was the Xbox controller. What about the PlayStation controller? See, this one is a bit more disappointing because it actually doesn't work wirelessly. So if I do anything with it now, it, it won't do anything with the game, like nothing. Even if I disconnect my Xbox controller, like I'm disconnecting it now, making sure that it's dead. There we go not connected to the PC anymore. Then if we go back to PC mode, there we go. I'm clicking on everything. It's connected. You can see it's blue, but nothing is happening. The moment I do, the moment I do this, it's working and it even shows the PlayStation interface. So automatically, it has the PlayStation button. So instead of, you know, the Xbox has the Y, X buttons, but the PlayStation has these triangle and square and circle and X, and it actually shows that now. So sadly, this means that if you want to play with a PlayStation controller, you have to have it, you know, you have to have it inserted with a USB cable to your computer, as I have right now. It's the PlayStation 5 controller, which is now with USB-C and USB on my PC. Then I can use the controller totally fine with PlayStation. No problem at all. Which is a bit annoying, but you know, it is what it is. So basically this confirms the PlayStation controller can be played with a cable and the Xbox controller can be played wirelessly. A fun note, if I want to go back with the PlayStation controller, even if I turn it on, nothing happens. I can't use it anymore. It's broken. What I have to do is I need to pull out the cable of my PlayStation controller. Now, it works again. So for some reason, when you have a controller connected to your PC via cable, it overrules the, the wireless one for some reason. But yeah. But again, basically, this video was basically just to show you, does this game have control support? Yes, it does. Does it work with the Xbox? Yes, it does. Also, wirelessly and wide. Does it work with the PlayStation? Yes, it does. Wireless? No. Wide? Yes. So, 
And we have seen this scenario many times before. Diablo 4 had the same problem, you also had to connect it for USB. I think even Baldur's Gate 3 had it. It must be some kind of like Windows thing that they do. I guess maybe it's Microsoft way on punishing Sony. There must be something since it's it's a thing I've seen in many games that's only the Xbox controller that works wirelessly and the PlayStation has to be connected through a cable. There must be something that we don't know about. But yeah, basically both controllers works, but only the Xbox One use it, works wirelessly. And now you can boot up the game and enjoy a very, very smooth experience with controller. And again, the only games that actually has like MMOs of the big ones that has control support is like Elder Scrolls Online and Black Desert Online. Because WoW doesn't have it out of the box, you need an add-on before it's actually smooth. Guild Wars, you need to use Steam's um, controller interface and you have to fiddle with mappings of controls. And what else do we have? Final Fantasy. Okay, that's a lie. That game actually has control support. So, I mean, okay, so Final Fantasy has, Elder Scrolls Online has, and now, of course, also Throne of Liberty has. So, yeah, maybe World of Warcraft will get it in the future. I mean, since they're owned by Xbox, we could only hope. But yeah, this is the control support video that you needed to know about if you want to play this game. And of course, if you're going to play this game on consoles, this game is also releasing on consoles. It's not out right now. The only reason I can play is because I play on a career server. But once it actually is out, you will be able to play this on control, or sorry, on PC, Xbox and PlayStation. And then of course, the controller is going to work normally for you when you play on a console. But for PC players, we can use controllers as well. So if you want to just have a chill time in your sofa, connect your PC to your TV, here you go. It's settled. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you want to watch more of me playing this game from Liberty, you can find me on twitch.tv slash dvalin, D-V-A-L-I-N. I'm looking forward to see you all there. Thanks for watching. Bye.